So you want to upload a Facebook cover, a Facebook post in your Facebook account and you want an engaging post that people are going to be moved with and are going to comment and maybe like and share. Then you are in the right video. If you are a Facebook marketer, if you have uh, an Instagram account, if you want to be an inf Instagram influencer or if you want to be uh, an online business entrepreneur, then in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can create engaging Facebook post using Canva. So if you're ready, let's get started. Now, if you don't have a Canva account, I have got a link in the description below. Canva is free. You can just click on that link and join Canva today. All right. So the first thing you want to do, you want to come to the search button and say we want to create a Facebook post. So I'm just going to type Facebook post here. And even before I finish typing, already Canva gives me options and suggestions. So I'm just going to click on Facebook post. So then when I click on Facebook post, Canva is going to give me a, a, several templates, free templates to choose from for my Facebook post. Now let's say you have a, a brand on your Facebook. So if you have a brand, maybe you have a brand color, it's always good to come here under, in, under color templates and then just click on this. And let's say your brand is black, so you just click on black and then Canva does a good job, gives you all the available free templates that have some feel of black in them so that it goes with your brand. All right, so just scroll down and then look for what you want. Let's say I like this, then I click on that. So in this, it, it loads on the next window and then in this window now is where we are going to do the editing that is necessary for you so that you can create an engaging post for your business or your Facebook or your Instagram account. Now for this particular case, you're only going to do Facebook post. If you are going to if you if you are going to do an Instagram post, just type here Instagram, and then uh, Canva will give you. Yes, you see, it gives you Instagram post. So you can also pick uh, an Instagram post or template examples from this. Now the editing is the same on the editing window for whether you are doing Instagram post, Facebook post, uh, post on Twitter, LinkedIn, whatever. The editing is also the same. Okay, so let's try and edit this so that it comes like. A nice post for us to put on on Facebook. All right. So let's say we let's assume we, we are having a workout Facebook page or a group, and we want to create a post using that. So I'm just going to come here, and then I'm going to type something like workout or gym. Let's say gym. I want that image. Let me come here. So you first, firstly, uh, okay, gym for templates. Let's take gym, gym. All right, so we have a gym. Okay, gym. So these are the, uh, some of the examples of gym posts that we can use. Okay, let's use this. This looks nice. Okay, so we put on that. Awesome. All right, so we have this. Now, if you hover around this, you see there's this picture and then there's this part. But let's forget that for now. Now, let's say we have a photo we want to put. We want to replace it with that. So if, Or maybe we want to search for a different uh, workout workout photos. So you type workout under photos there. Okay. Like that. So if I want to replace this photo, uh, okay, I'm just going to replace the whole of it. So I'm just going to delete that and delete the whole of that like that. And then let's say I want that one to fit. Okay. Let me just delete that. So like that so if you want to always to let me just do for you that again double clicking on the image when you double click like this always comes in the middle okay now if you want it to fit exactly on your frame then just drag it come here hold it drag it until you see it fits like that then you leave it now it does it's fit perfectly well all right so let's say this is my my uh, gym or workout uh, picture that I want to use for my uh, gym uh, business on my Facebook account. So that's a nice image. It's going to be attractive to uh, or both sexes. Right, so the next thing, of course, once you have an image, you want to put in some text. So you come here, I put some text here. So we can add any text. Okay, let's see what this one is going to do. So, ban all the all right, so it's it's going past the 
required frame because of here so you just come here you see it's the front size font size that is at 281 let's reduce that so that we can see the whole entire text let's say 36 awesome so ban all fat with this easy uh, DIY workout practice something like that so we, maybe you want to give some your audience something to do at home uh, to help them burn some parts some fats as they work out so you're going to say burn some burn all the fat with this easy DIY workout practice all right so you can even add more text to make it because now this is an uh, Facebook post you can let's have more text so you can click on that then it comes here so then I just come and say uh, do you like to work out or you can say the reverse actually because working out working out is not easy that is why at fitness pro let's say what is called fitness pro fitness pro uh, america we have this easy and simple diy workout that is a something like that workout for you for you all right so we need to get more engagement more people to read this so i'm just going to do that and then i do something like that now bitwadi uh let me remove some text let me do let me do this so try fitness pro today okay so let's see so then i just minimize that all right that is eye-catching enough this is a post that is going to eye-catching enough the the, the the picture itself should catch the eye of your audience and then burn all the fat with this easy diy workout practice workout is not easy try fitness pro today now this is already an eye-catching photo facebook post now for the sake of this video let's say you still want to do more editing just so that i give you more options on uh, show you more ways on how to edit things on on facebook let's say we want to add some elements here for the sake of taking you through how to edit uh your posts all right so let's say i want to use some okay let's see let's see let's see so you can always add these shapes okay let me just add a, a shape here so that you know how this thing works let me just add that just want to add for you this now awesome awesome this is going to be amazing let's see this is going to be good so see what i've done so let me just undo so that you see again so let's say you want to add some shape around this or make it more pop out more maybe you want to this pop out more so you can say like, i want to add this square or is it a rectangle then i want it to come and encompass this so i'm going to minimize that a bit minimize that and then i want this text to fit in this box so i'm going to minimize that then i drag the text there in the middle okay right there in the middle then uh let's assume let me do that now the the text has disappeared but it hasn't the text actually at the background of this uh shape so how do you do you get back the text so you hi highlight that remember the text at the background of this so i want this shape to get the background so that the text can appear in the front so i highlight that then i come here you see here in position you click on position then you say backward so this this frame is going to go in the back in the background then the text is going to appear so you can click on background you see now the text is in front and then the image is behind so i just wanted to do that so i can show you how position works this button works okay 
All right, so let's say you want to edit the size of this text. Let's come here and then you say, let's say I want it to be at uh, 32, like that. All right, so you can edit the way you want. You can put it as much as you want. And let's say I don't want this, I don't like this font text. I want to try another font. So I just come here, click on this. Let's try this font. I've never tried this. Yeah, so then I then I come as to shape it there in the middle like that. So our post, Facebook post is coming out quite quite well. So I want to change the color of this backward, background shape. So I just highlight it and then I come here. You see here, I want to change the color. Just click on that. And then let's say I want it to be black. Mm, yeah, okay. From this image, black goes blends so well with that. But for the sake of teaching you how to edit, just let me try other colors. So something like bluish. Yeah, the kind of resonates with that. Or red, let's see red. Hmm, that pops out so much. Okay, blacks does it so well. All right, so, so there you have it. We have, I've shown you how to change the color of that. I've shown you how to, to do this. Now let's say you don't want this, you don't like this uh, font of this text. You can let's just come here and change it the way you want. So I've seen, shown you that. And then here is the color. Let's say you want to change the color of this. Just click on that. Come here, change color. Um, um, black. Let's see. Oh, okay. And then uh, if maybe you want to move this text, uh, you want the text to start at the tip here. Just click here and then you come here. Click on that. comes there. Click on that again. It comes there. Click on that. It comes there. Click on that. It comes there. So this one can also use to navigate through your different texts effects awesome so let's see what effects does so let's say i want some shadow awesome you can also go ahead and do and none or i want some curve whoa let's let's take it back okay i'm going to take that back take that back like that okay so uh what else could we add for to make this thing pop out more Okay, let's say I don't want the shape. Let's let's let me remove that. So just highlight, then you click on delete on your PC. Maybe I want something like this. So you can just come here, or let me let me undo that. Maybe I want that. So just bring it here, just to add some 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 drama to it a bit. Uh, here like that. Okay, but now in this case, I have to change the color of this because now it doesn't appear so well. Yeah, I can do, let me try red, blue. Okay, those colors now, it's getting harder to green. Okay, I'll just leave it at white for that sake. All right, so I want to add more elements to this. I want to add uh, some frames so this text all right all right all right okay so if you want to add some transparency just highlight there then click on this then you do that it disappears it comes back like that so you can do that maybe you want it to not to appear so much you see it kind of disappears and then it kind of come out more bold like that all right, and there you have it. So we've edited for, I've shown you how you can edit a free Facebook post for you. I've shown you some of the ways you can navigate through this so that you get at the best popping out images and post for your Facebook or Instagram. The same text, the same uh, editing goes with even Instagram posts, uh, Twitter posts, um, um, LinkedIn posts, uh, whatever posts, Snapchat, the same editing goes the same way. Just use this buttons here and the features that are here all right let's let's discuss about some more features in the next video i hope you like this and if you did kindly if you got some value hit the subscribe button so that you can support this channel i have a link below for you to join uh, canva for free again support us by clicking on the subscribe button see you in the next video